Do you want to say something to the group, Mr. McMurphy? You're voluntary? Mm-hmm. Scanlon? Billy, for Christ's sakes, you must be committed, right? No, 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 no. Mom, Mom. You're just a young kid. What are you doing here? You ought to be out in a convertible while bird dog and chicks and banging beaver. What are you doing here, for Christ's sake? It's so funny about that. Well, well, Jesus, I mean, you guys do nothing but complain about how you can't stand it in this place here, and then you haven't got the guts just to walk out? I mean, what do you think you are, for Christ's sake? Crazy or something? I don't know they're in peril. Savage word. You in peril? Most people I know think that I'm crazy. I'd just like, to, obviously, to announce my retirement from the game. Matthew Knights is being unceremoniously sacked as coach of the struggling Bombers. It caps off a disastrous season for the Dons, who finished in 14th. Knights had two years left on his contract. <laughs> no, I think Matthew has to go. <laughs> the flame might come one day with James. In AFL news, Essendon's new coach James Hurd says he hopes former Geelong coach Mark Thompson will join his team for next year. Who was on crack? <laughs> This is humiliating now for a proud football club. James Hurd and Mark Thompson have been charged under the AFL rules in relation to the supplements program at the club. No one has any no one knows. Exactly. Shut up, no you one fat knows. man. We're just going to sit back and wait for the facts to come and don't make up the story. <laughs> no, we're not making one up, Tom. On the worst days of weather, whether it's the coldest, wettest days in winter or the hottest days in summer, we'll be indoors and able to do the, uh, the craft work. Xavier Campbell, you're our new CEO, congratulations. Uh, we've created a new football structure, I think is gonna be a football structure that really takes us forward and gives us the opportunity to achieve success. North Melbourne are through, the Bombers are out! Welcome to AFL 360. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. It's very exciting. Good luck with it. Thanks very much. Cool. 34 past and present Essendon players have been found guilty of doping by the Court of Arbitration for Sport and will be banned from playing in 2016. They've successfully cleared the first of four hurdles standing between them and Premiership glory. A lot to learn. How good is this bomber for Essendon has confirmed a two-year contract extension for coach John Warsfold. West Coast, live to fight another day. Um, learn. Today's obviously a really big day for the footy club with some exciting announcements. Well, a succession plan of uh, coaching handover over the course of the season 2020. Adam Saad asked to be traded to arch rivals Carlton and now today, Joe Danaher wants to get to Brisbane. And this is purely uh, a culture issue of players not being happy, not being content, not sure the direction of the club, not feeling like they're going to get any success there. So for such a proud, proud club, this is one of the saddest days I think that um, I've ever been involved with. Ben Rutten has put on a brave face at Essendon training as uncertainty swirls over his future with the ball.